Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We, uh, we're getting to go camping. Uh, it is calling for 70% chance of rain and I looked on the radar and it is all around us. But it says around midday, it'll clear out. So we're gonna take a chance. Um, we're going to a place that I, we hadn't never videoed, never camped at before. And I've only been to it a couple of times. So I hope once I go back down there that it's a place worth camping at. But anyway, guys, I'll either see y'all on the road or or uh, see y'all when we get down there. See y'all in a bit. Hey, everybody. Uh... It's been hitting me us on this rain. The map shows we're gonna get a lot of rain. And we have been getting it on, you know, on and off. We have been getting some rain. Uh, so we may be doing a rain camp, guys. It's just been, you know, it's just been kind of sprinkling, but uh, it is raining. Uh, so we may have to set up for the rain. You can see it's not really raining hard, but it is raining. But now it is supposed to rain hard. Uh, I hope it don't. I'm, like I said, I'm not a rain camper. But anyway, guys, I'll get back with y'all when we get down here to the campground. Well, it's not really a campground. It's it's kind of just a spot off of the side of the road in WMA, over in uh, WMA, Talladega National Forest. It's really not a campground. It's a free spot, but uh, so we'll be camping free tonight. If it does rain hard, I don't think I think we'll move because it's uh, really it's it's, a, it's in the dirt, and I don't want it to turn into mud and get us stuck in the van. But anyway, guys, when I get down there, I'll show y'all what it's about. Hey guys, we almost had us a roadblock here for a little, it looks like a tree fell in the road, but this is Alabama. We don't cut trees out of the way, we just run over them. Anyway guys, I just wanted to show y'all we almost had us a roadblock. See y'all in a bit. Hey guys, can y'all see where she wants to ride? I guess she thinks she's got to see out too, but. Are you riding? Are you, hey, Jojo. Jojo, are you going with us camping? She's camera shy, guys. Hey guys, I wanted to pull over and show y'all something. A couple of weeks ago on my last video, I filmed this little creek that was about to dry up and I showed y'all the little area that was didn't have much water in it. Well guys, here I am back two weeks later and you literally see how much water is in this thing. And it's kind of sad because that thing is just crawling with little fish. I don't know if, I'm gonna try to get down here. And you can see the little fish just going everywhere. Uh, you know, I don't want it to rain our camp out, but on the other hand, we need the water really bad. You can see how high water usually runs through that pipe and goes under that culvert. You can see how low the water is. I mean, very, very low. Uh, I guess it's these fish is probably, I guess what will happen is birds are coming here or something and, and eat a lot of these fish once the water gets low enough. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to show y'all this. We come by, we come by this spot. Now, a couple weeks ago when we did that video, we was camping at a campground this time. We go by that campground, but we won't be camping in that campground. But I kind of figured when I came by here with, 
no rain that this was what we would see. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to update y'all on this, on our weather. See y'all when we get down there. Well, guys, we made it. That's a good thing. A bad thing is this place is terrible. I mean, I mean, that we're not close to water. We're not close to any water. Uh, it's just growed up. As you can see behind me, I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's growed up and it's just, see what this is, this is a deer camp. And it's, I, I don't know, I hate to go back to the same spot we usually camp at, but my grandson, he's already crying. He just, he, uh, he does not like this spot. And I don't either, it's not, it would be something different, but it would not be nothing, you know, enjoyable. It's just, I don't know. Uh, but guys, we saw a spot coming down here that's right on the creek and we want to camp there so bad. Uh, but my van just won't get in there. It won't get in there to it. But what's happened is four wheel drives has went in there and rutted it out and just messed it up for people that's like me wants to go in there and camp or somebody wants to go in there and camp in a two wheel drive and they can't do it. Uh, so we're gonna probably, we're either gonna ride back to Pine Glen, our same spot we always camp. Guys, I'm sorry, Alabama, where I'm at, my area is just not overrun with camping spots uh, so we're gonna go back and uh give it a shot my grandson's he I, I i tell you what on the way back i'll stop and film and show y'all that spot that we want to camp at but we can't i'll show y'all the ruts but guys this place is beautiful i'll get back with y'all when we get down there guys we're pulling up to it i'm gonna show y'all this place is really really nice guys here it is we uh you can see right here where we pulled down in here we was going to come down in here you can see right there where i almost got stuck but we had to back up this hill and guys you can see right here where they're just turning it into a they're rutting it out four wheel drives and stuff and uh i just can't get in here with my van i don't think uh, this is some deep, deep ruts. And my grandson really wants to camp down here. And I do too. This is a very, very nice place, guys. It's right off of the, of a, right off of the road. Here's a fire pit. This is literally how close, this is a fire pit. And right here, is the creek okay so guys we really really want to camp here we really do this is the bridge we just came across So anyway, guys, I wanted to show y'all this, how pretty this place is, but we're just not going to be able to get in here, I don't think. 
I don't want to take a chance of getting stuck. We don't have any phone service. And it's miles to walk out of here. So uh, no phone service, miles to walk out. I think I'm going to use my better judgment and just, which one day I am going to make sure I try to figure out how to camp down here. The only thing holding me back is these ruts right here. You can see, actually, guys, you can see where people's dragging. These ruts are so deep, you can see where the bottom of their car is dragging. So that tells you how deep these ruts are. And this, and we wanted to try to worm our way in through these trees right here. There's the van. Here's the drive. We wanted to come in right around through here and worm our way in. But we have to come close to this creek, and I'm scared that, you know, the van may try to get off in this creek, and it's just, it just wouldn't be good. Anyway, guys, we was really hoping to find a new place to camp, but it looks like back to the old place. And guys, trust me, I am constantly trying to find a nice spot to camp. A different spot all the time and like I said where I'm at, where I'm at it's just there's just not a lot of places so I'm sorry guys I really wanted to camp here and so does he he wanted to get into creek he got his little he's got his pan his gold pan he wanted a pan for some gold and uh so that's not gonna happen either anyway guys I'm sorry I'll get back with y'all when we find a spot Hey guys, uh, a friend of mine uh, also has a YouTube channel. He uh, he home makes these fire starters, so we're going. And he gave me one. We're gonna give it a shot. Well, it sure took off good. Huh. Not bad. He did a good job on that. Oh well, guys. Get back with y'all in a bit. Get the fire going. Hey guys well we didn't get to camp we just could not get in that spot down there it was just i think it was going to be too rough i didn't want to get stuck no phone service 10 miles out i just it, it wouldn't work so we came down here to pine glen i know i i but guys like i said i just don't have a lot of places to go uh so we came to Pine Glen. We got in a good spot close to the creek down here. But he's, we got here, it's kind of cloudy and it's been raining. Not hard, but it has been raining. And it's cloudy, so it really ain't, don't put us in the mood for even him to swim. So we are gonna go down here and let him pan for some gold. I bought him a pan, we was in Tennessee, Gatlinburg. I went in one of them little stores and bought him a pan. So he's going, he's going to do a little, he's going to try to pan for some gold. And uh, if we find something, find some gold, I'll get back with y'all in a short day. See you in a bit.
Guys, I know we might not be doing this perfect, but uh, he's just now learning and he's gonna start doing it a lot more. Guys, we walking around. We just walking around the campground. Most people would say being nosy, but we just, my grandson has got this thing. He's been finding pennies and, and coins and stuff on vacant uh, campsites that people stay at, like right here. So he hits all these little campsites looking for coins. And I think he's found about two dozen tent stakes. He said he's gonna start collecting tent stakes and looking for them every time he comes down here. But kind of an odd collection, but oh well. I mean, it's quiet, real quiet down here. It's just three of us, two people behind me and us is the only people down here. But I kind of figured it would be slow because it's after the holidays and I think we ain't seen a couple of vehicles since we've been here. Somebody has hung. Somebody has hung their slide ons in a tree. One slide on in that tree. And one slide on in that tree. They're knocky, so I understand why they hung them in the tree. Anyway, guys, we're going to continue to walk around. See if we might see something interesting. Zoe, she's with us. I know we're supposed to have her on a leash, but anyway, she's. We do have a leash for her, and we should have her on it. But we forgot and just took off, and she's following us. Anyway, guys, I'll get back with y'all when we get back to the campsite. Hey, guys, we was walking around the campground, and we walked up on this lot here. If you'll come right over here, you'll see where they left a bunch of tent poles. Uh, they left a rake, and they left a lot of trash. Uh, I'm going to pick up the trash, guys. I, now, normally I wouldn't if I had to do it with my hands, but I got my grabbers. So I'm going to pick up all this trash that they left and, you know, and throw it away, kind of clean this up a little bit. Uh, uh, I don't know. It's, it, we walked around looking at all the lots, and this is the dirtiest one, so we're going to clean it up a little bit. Anybody need a sock? I would say a good trash bag, a little trash bag full.
Well, guys, like I said, we ate some hot dogs. My grandson's been out looking. He found him a quarter and a bunch of tent steaks. And there's people coming in, actually. You can see them. Let's see. You can see people. They're coming in. A guy just, this guy's coming, coming in now. And there's a guy back up here just come in. So it's picking up. Day is Friday. And it is raining. It is it's picking up. It's getting harder and harder. So, and it's getting pretty dark. Phone don't show it really, but it's getting pretty dark. We're going to, I'm going to go down and jump in the creek and take some soap and wash off and come back up here. And my grandson said he wanted to play on the, his phone while I watch TV or I told him he could watch TV, Xbox, or telephone. He picked the telephone. So anyway, guys, it's, it's, it's turning out to be a pretty good camp. It, now, it has rained on and off since we left. It has rained on and off. Actually, we helped come. I didn't come this morning. I, I kept holding it off because... It showed a lot of storms coming in, but it hadn't really done it. So we just throwed the stuff in the van and took off. We, we had some of it in the van and had some of it ready. So we just took off and here we are. And tomorrow it's supposed to be sunny. We'll see. But anyway, guys, I'll get back with y'all when we're turning in, when we come getting in the van, playing Xbox, watching TV on the phone, whatever he's going to do. I know I'll lay down and watch TV, but I'll get back with y'all then. Hey guys, uh, this is gonna sound crazy, but <laughs> it got it. Where are we at? When it gets dark down here, it is dark. I mean, pitch dark. So it had been raining. We went and jumped in the creek and uh, got wet and bathed off and came back up here, and it and it had got dark. And so we came in here and laid down and was watching TV. Well, I was going to give y'all a close, uh, 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 I was going to video me, you know, us turning in. And well, I went to sleep. And so did my grandson. Actually, he's still sleeping. So I woke up. And I thought, well, shoot, it's probably three or four o'clock in the morning. You know, uh, I'll lay here and watch some TV. You know, I used so a lot of times I'll get up that early and, and wake up and lay there and watch TV until I get go back to sleep. But I grabbed my grandson's phone and clicked it, and it was 11 o'clock. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I asked my grandson, I said, is your phone, is the time on your phone, is it right? He said, yeah. And I clicked, and I found my phone phone and went on it at the same time and I'm like wow I said all we did was take a nap so I'm up and I'm, I'm gonna build me a fire it's 11 o'clock that's 11 11 40 I'm gonna build I'm gonna build me a fire and, and uh, I guess sit around out here a little while and put me another movie in and try this again try it try it for a second time but anyway guys <laughs> I'll get, it's kind of odd, you know, usually it don't, uh, I don't do that. But anyway, I mean, I slept from that little length of time. I don't know what time it was. It just got dark, but from that length of time, I slept really, really good. And he was on his phone and he don't usually do it. And he put his phone up and went to, uh, rolled over. And I thought, well, it must be, it must be pretty late, you know, for him to, so, um, we, like I said, we went to sleep and woke up at 11 o'clock, 11.30. Anyway, guys, I'll get back with y'all when I get me a fire going, maybe maybe get that on there. I guess I'm, I guess it's time for me to get up. It's 11 o'clock. <laughs> I'll catch y'all in, in, in just a little bit. Guys, y'all can probably hear this generator going. I got it going and got the, the lights and stuff in the van going. Grandson's still asleep. Uh, a couple of people has came in since 
we lay down, you can look way out here, you can see a fire going. Um, and a couple more people came in over here, which you can't see, it's so dark. But anyway, I think they turned in. But I'm gonna throw some I'm throwing some uh gonna put some wood on this fire maybe get it back going I guess I guess it's time to get up and build a fire is what I was gonna say, but usually we turn it in at this time. But I did sleep good that little nap I guess you would call it. Anyway, guys, Grand Boy's still asleep. I sat out here by the fire, I guess, till I get ready to turn in again. And uh, when I go in there and in the van, lay down, I'll catch y'all then. See y'all in a bit. Guys, guys, I throwed some wood on the fire and it finally took a hoe and took off and I definitely got me a good fire going out here so <laughs> a little bit better than I wanted but anyway I had to shut the doors in the van because I didn't want them to didn't want it to smoke up inside the van so I'm gonna sit out here by the fire I guess and Hoping my son, my grandson will get up because he's, if he don't, he's going to wake up at three or four o'clock in the morning. He's going to be ready to get up. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to show y'all the fire I got. Uh, somebody may call the fire department on me. But anyway, guys, I'll catch y'all, like I said, when I turn in. I just wanted to show y'all my fire. See y'all in a bit. Well, guys, we are in the van. We're laying down, and we started us a movie. We are watching Shakiest Gun in the West. Uh, my grandson loves this movie, and it is a good movie. If y'all hadn't watched it, y'all might need to try it. When it's starring Don Knotts. It's a really good movie, Shakiest Gun in the West. Uh, we're watching that, laying down, and uh, I think Zoe is, there she is, Zoe, she's over there, we don't, she's shedding, I don't know what, what's going on with her guys, she's shedding real bad, so we don't let her sleep with us right now, but uh, but anyway guys, we will be laying down, watching TV, and I think we're going to have chicken sandwiches in the morning. Not exactly a breakfast, but that's what we got. We didn't bring anything for breakfast. Hey, guys. We're we're fixing to pack up and uh, get out of here. Uh was going to stay a little bit longer. And my back got to hurting me pretty bad. And I was laying in the van and just didn't feel like doing anything because my back was hurting. So... Um, 
we're going to pack up and I'm going to head home and get on a heating pad and uh, take me some uh, medicine for it, some pain medicine. And and uh, it's just uh, hurting me too bad. And I'm just sitting in the van and I ain't no fun to him. But And we done went and got in a creek and let him play a little while. And so we're going to get out of here, guys. And I hate cutting this one short. But anyway, guys, remember, put God first, put your boots on and get outside, and hopefully the next one will be a little better. My back had been hurting me the whole time, and but uh, he wanted to come because he wanted to use his pan and pan for some gold and swim. Uh, so we got to do that, so I'm proud of that. I, he got to do something. But anyway, it was worth it for that. Uh, I'll see y'all on the next one, guys, and everybody stay safe. Remember, put your boots on and get outside, and I'll catch y'all on the next one.